So in today's web dev tip, we're going to take a look at strict property initialization in TypeScript. And if you don't know what that is, I'll go through a few examples, but essentially it's a way of ensuring that you assign a value directly to a property when you're creating a new class, or you can override this behavior if you need to. So we had in our previous web dev tip, uh, we created a class called user, and there's some items that are passed into the constructor, which are set as public uh, properties on top of the user class, which means anything we pass into the constructor is available on the user object. But what about if we want to add some extra properties to this particular user class? So we could, for example, very trivial example, we could have uh, is the user logged in, for example, and we could set that to a, a type of Boolean and uh, that will be either a true or false value to denote whether the user's logged in or not. But you can see here we're getting an error, a compilation error with TypeScript. And if we just hover over that, uh, you can see that it's telling us that this new property that we've set up has not been initialized and we don't actually assign it a value in the constructor. So uh, this is a setting that you can turn off and I'll just show you how you can do that in a second. Um, but it's there to basically say you've created a property but you haven't actually assigned it any values. So we're not really sure whether you need this or not. And obviously it could cause errors uh, later on down the line if you're relying on this property having a value. So a couple of things here, we could assign the logged in property a value straight away. Uh, so you can do that when you define the actual property itself as well. So you could say something like, is the user logged in? Uh, is equal to false and a little side note as well with TypeScript if you are assigning a particular type uh, to a property or, or any variable for that matter you don't actually need the type because TypeScript will be able to infer or work out what type of uh, data you're assigning and therefore what type of data the property should have so you can see here it's uh, been assigned the type of boolean but we'll just leave that in there for the moment for clarity so that's one approach that you can do to get rid of that problem uh, the other thing if we just uh, recreate the problem again is in the constructor uh, we might not be passing that in as a value to the uh, constructor function down here, but there's nothing stopping us from in the constructor function doing some more assignment work. So we could say this.loggedIn is equal to false. And again, the error goes away because we're definitely assigning this uh, logged in property a value when the object is created. So also I mentioned you can override this behavior. So uh, the way to do that in TypeScript is in the member property that you've defined, if you just put an exclamation mark after the name of the uh, property that you're creating, and you can see the error goes away. And this is just like telling TypeScript that Although this hasn't been assigned a value, you can trust me that I am going to assign this property a value at some point, and I'll make sure that there's a value in there before I start using it, for example, in the login function. So there you go, there's just a bit of background on the strict property initialization error and uh, how to handle it in different ways, uh, depending on your needs. So that's it for this tutorial. Make sure you stay tuned for more web dev tips.